Hey guys, welcome back to Power Apps Learning Channel. In this uh, video, we are going to look at how we can replicate the group by list view uh, user interface in Power Apps. Uh, what you can do in SharePoint list, uh, you can group by on particular column and user will be able to select the particular group to see the records inside it. We will try to replicate similar uh, user interface in Power Apps. So this is what uh, on the left side you will you, you are seeing uh, group by list view in the SharePoint list and on the right side that's what I have tried to convert or try to replicate the UI uh, for the group by list view in Power Apps. So these are the steps what we need to follow before getting into the details. Let me just show you the the SharePoint list view and how it is looking at in, in the Power Apps. So this is the SharePoint list uh, which I was talking about, which is grouped by right now this view uh, where it is grouped on graduation year column. So you can see the graduation year uh, as a label here and then you see these values and then you see the, the count or number of records inside this group. So when you click on it, you will see the rows for this particular selected group. So I've tried to create a similar UI in Power Apps. This is our demo app. I'll just preview it. Uh, if you can see it, let me just select the other one. So if you can see, this is uh, again, uh, I've tried to make it similar to what how it is looking in SharePoint. Uh, this is the column on which it is grouped by. These are the column values. And the on the at the end, you will see the number of records from uh, for this particular group. So for the 2010 year, you have three records. So you can see it here and you can you can just click on it to expand the group. Once you expand it, you will see the records for this selected uh, group value. Now let's get into the details. So let me just select the first record. So as uh, I have pointed uh, or noted down the steps, uh, we need to make use of blank flexible height gallery template, and then we'll be adding a gallery within gallery. Uh, we'll be binding the parent gallery to the to, to the group values, and then there are some visibilities and height we need to set for the child gallery, and some of the icons. So let's let's get into those details. So if you see on the left side, uh, this is the structure of it. This is my parent gallery, which I have bound to the choices uh, in the sample list. This is my SharePoint list. This is my column, which is of type choice. So using choices function, you can pull the choices from your SharePoint list choice column. So whatever uh, in the list setting, whatever choices you have set, you can pull it uh, using this choices function. In your case, it might be a lookup column. If it is a lookup column, you can directly pull the records from the parent list, which you have looked up. Uh, or if it is not choice column, if it is not uh, a lookup column, if it is just simple a numeric field or text field, you can make use of distinct function. So let me just show you. So this distinct function, you can and then pass the data source and just provide the column name. You can do this also to get the distinct values uh, which you can bind to your parent gallery as a group group values. But then the limitation is this is uh, this will not work beyond 2000 records as this distinct function is not delegable currently. Uh, but the, yeah, for that also we can have some alternatives. Uh, we can look into that in a separate video. So that's the data source of my parent gallery choices. Next, uh, in, inside this parent gallery, if you just try to edit the template of the parent gallery, I have added a child gallery and then the, there are some of these controls. Uh, this is the, the fixed text for your group column. This is uh, the label to show if there are no records available. This is another label to show the count of how many records are available inside this particular group. So this I have just used count rows function child gallery dot all items. Uh, 
down arrow and then expand icon uh, if i just show you the visibility of it visible property of down arrow this down arrow what you see here is will be only visible when the part the record is selected in the parent gallery so if you see this particular record the parent record is selected that's why you see this down arrow if i just uh, for the rest of the records which are not selected you will see the, the right icon here and uh, again for the expand icon uh, you the visibility will be exactly opposite to what is set to the down arrow and when you click on expand icon uh, let me see if i have added something here yeah so when you click on the expand icon we are uh, just setting uh, yeah we are ah, okay for the expand icon I, i've tried to uh, make it clickable only when there are uh, records within this particular group so if it is if there are no records after i was trying to uh, avoid or trying to remove this code what is written here by default it is select parent so when there are no records i was trying to make it false and this is a separator uh, okay so let me just get into the other details now this child gallery that that's the main part of it so when you try to add child gallery this gallery is set now let's look at the data source what is bound to it so it's straightforward we are trying to filter the sample list with the graduation year dot value is whatever is selected at the parent level so whatever is selected in the parent gallery we are trying to use we are trying to get that value and filter it so that we can get the records for the selected graduation year only so whenever you are selecting 2011 it is trying to make a call uh to the sharepoint and trying to get the records for graduation year is equal to 2011 so if there are records it will show you the records here so that is the data source of the child gallery now the important parts are let me just switch back to the first record so the important part is setting the height of the gallery uh and probably setting the visibility of it so let me just show you the visibility so whenever the parent or uh, gallery item is selected then only set the visibility of this child gallery so if the parent item is selected the child gallery will be visible otherwise the child gallery will be invisible that is one thing about the height so if you look at the height uh so what we have done as we have seen that we have applied the filter formula to get the records now if there are no records uh, we will set the height to zero and if there are records so if there are let's say two records five records 10 records 100 records so we have just tried to set the dynamic height to the gallery let's say 160 height is what needed for to show the one record and if there are three records we are multiplying it using 168 so if i just show you again for the three record this is the height which it is taking for the zero the gallery is not visible we are showing this label for the two records you can see now its height is less so dynamically we are setting the height of child gallery depending on whether there are zero records whether there are two records or whatever number of records uh okay back now again sorry let me just select it yeah so that was uh, the height property of it uh, and we have already seen the items property we have seen the visible property of it uh yep yeah. so okay now let's let's see what else we need to do uh we have shown the group values added child gallery a uh, bind filtered record set visibility of child gallery set height of the child gallery only if there are records and set visibility of uh, visibility of the expand and uh, down icons now let me just try to uh, add a gallery for you so this i have already created to to 
to with with the neat uh, user interface just try to place it at the proper position i'll just try to demonstrate you quickly so let me just go and add a flexible height gallery here i'll just put it here and i'll just try to bind it to choices and here we'll be using sample list and dot graduation here okay so let me just change the sort of plank or we can just here edit try to add a label and if i can see it's already showing me the 2010 value so if you see this we have got the the parent gallery ready uh, now uh, next is we need to add a child gallery here so before that let me just add uh, okay let let just add a child gallery here which will be again a blank vertical let's just try to keep it like this and this will be set to filter sample list and we'll be filtering on graduation year column dot value is equal to this item so when i say this item it will take the parent uh, item parent gallery item and it will pull the records now uh, let me just add some controls inside it instead of blank let me just make it like this okay so this first record is uh, selected by default now and you can see there are these records available for the 2011 there are no records for the 2013 there are two records uh, for 2014 there are no records for 2015 again there are some records so that that's how you will see the first uh, result of it we have already got all the let me try to set the background field differently so you will distinguish it and this is a label which is let me just try to set it to something like this so now you see this this is uh, so there are no records uh, and there are, wherever records are there it is appearing inside the nested uh, gallery and to make it look more nicer to hide the gallery or to change the height of the uh, the template when the records are not there that's what we have done here uh, you need to set the height of the child gallery depending on whether there are records available or not uh, if there are no records available just set it to zero so this will change automatically uh, that's what we have done in this actual screen what i have shown you here this is the main part setting the height and setting the visibility of the child gallery so whenever there are no records we are setting it to zero if there are records we are setting it dynamically uh, just multiplying with the default uh, template size uh that's it i guess so i hope uh, this this will be helpful for you guys and let me know in the comment section if you have any question on it uh hope uh, this will help you thank you for watching